Known to the Romans as Mare Nostrum, the Mediterranean Sea is still a great mystery to science. Some 2,000 years ago, Pliny the Elder began to compile inventories of flora and fauna. In the process, he found beings that until a short time before were considered to be mythological. Nowadays, this miniature ocean, regarded as one of the most biodiverse places in the world, still jealously hides its secrets. Although we know the basics of the more than 15,000 animal species that inhabit these waters, we know almost nothing about the natural behavior of even the common ones, since many of these become active at sundown. The phases of the moon do not seriously affect the tides in the Mediterranean, but they do affect the behavior of many animals. Under the cover of night, a vast number of species become active in order to establish links and find food, all functioning under one premise, to eat without being eaten. Many have developed extraordinary abilities and sensory organs in order to survive until the next dawn. Others use the cover of night to reproduce in the warm waters of Mare Nostrum. Well into the 21st century, we understand the workings of the solar system better than we do the natural behavior of the inhabitants of our oceans. A large number of marine species are strictly nocturnal and wait for semi-darkness before invading the sea to look for food. Others, of diurnal habits, try to spend the night hours resting, although they're always alert to predators. In open waters, many animals find refuge in a group. Dolphins and other cetaceans never really fall asleep completely. They need to breathe in air from the surface regularly, and at the same time, they need to be aware of possible predators, which is why they rest by alternating between both hemispheres of their brain. Moreover, their echolocation warns them of any imminent danger. On the coast, things are different. Here, diurnal fish and the young of many species find cover between rocks and algae.
Just like marine mammals and some birds, they rest by disconnecting half their brain, while the other half is constantly alert to the presence of predators. They don't need eyelids to close their eyes, but what alerts them to any danger is a sensory organ known as the lateral line, which they use to detect the tiniest movement around them. This lateral line is made up of a series of perforations or pores aligned on both sides of the fish, from the back of the head to its tail. In some species, the pores are even distributed along the head. When a pressure wave hits the fish, it travels inside the pores to extremely sensitive small organs known as neuromasts, which allow it to anticipate a predator's attack or to move along reduced visibility areas. The Fissidae are completely nocturnal animals that use sensitive palps, or whiskers, with which they detect their prey in total darkness, or even when they're in the sand. Upon nightfall, an infinite number of crustaceans leave the crevices of rocks to look for detritus and organic material to feed on. Many species of shrimps, crabs, and lobsters are at the same time a very important source of protein for many other species, against which they've developed various defense mechanisms. From resistant exoskeletons and perfect camouflages that make it seem like they disappear, to sophisticated systems that allow them to detect both food sources and possible predators. <laughs>